The notochord, and later the vertebral column which replaced it, allowed an S-shaped lateral undulation of the back, which is the primary way in which fish swim. When vertebrates moved on to land, this was still the primary form of locomotion. Here in these newts, one can see that they still move their back from side to side in these lateral undulations, in the same way that fish uh, swim uh, through the water. Later land vertebrates, such as mammals, would primarily use the large muscles of their arms and legs for locomotion. But the more primitive vertebrates would have smaller arms and legs, which would be used as hold fast, what primarily propels a salamander forward or a lizard forward is not the contraction of muscles in the arms or legs, but rather this lateral movement of the vertebral column. The legs just help to anchor the body and to give this force a place from which to push off. So this form of locomotion was adaptive not only for fish in water, but also for amphibians in both water and land, and then later land reptiles. It was made possible by the support rod which ran down the back. This began as the notochord, and the vertebral column gradually grew around the notochord and gradually replaced it. But even in the early amphibians and reptiles, the notochord was a complete rod that went down the back with only pieces of vertebrae uh, forming around it. This is something that all chordates have in common. This uh, notochord, uh, which goes down uh, the back, at least during embryonic development, and vertebrates originally depended on the type of movement that it allowed.